Today we will be discussing in depth one of the best sneakers to hold throughout 2021 and potentially even longer. After making my video regarding the best sneakers to hold in general, a lot of you guys requested that I further discuss some of the more specific ones in depth. Therefore, I have decided to turn this into a series along with the holder sell videos. I'll discuss some of the holds that I feel to have some of the best hold value of all. Without wasting any of your guys time, the sneaker that we will be discussing today is the Jordan 1 Band Grade School Mid specifically and why I feel they have potential to be one of the most profitable holds margin wise. There are numerous other holds that may be just as or even more profitable than these and that's why I have decided to make this a series because there are many that I do want to discuss with you. To preface this, if you guys enjoy these types of videos regarding the market, reselling, or even how to acquire these limited products, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications just so you're always 100% updated. Furthermore, for more urgent updates like shock drops, raffle lists, site lists, etc., follow my Twitter Keith Adam 10 and personals for you. This way, you're always in the loop 24-7 whenever there is a restock or drop, etc., such as when I tweeted the link for the Bodega Dunk Drop. Shout out to all you guys who did cop from the post on Twitter, and of course, shout out to the Endurance members who feasted as well. With the use of our free provided software for auto carding and auto filling, reminder that the restock will be Friday, January 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CET for Europe, tweeted from Keith Adam 10. And just a tip, I do post a password... And just a tip, I do post a password just a couple of seconds early on the Endurance Twitter. We'll be breaking this video up into two sections. First, I'll be showing some examples with similar products that have increased in the past. Then I'll also discuss the margin you should see in terms of holding. Not the retail to resell initial margin, but rather, but rather the margin from what you could get now versus a long period of time from now. Essentially, are these actually worth your time? Just to provide a little bit of insight to start off on the Jordan 1 band grade school pairs, this pair started releasing around November and still has seen some restocks as of very recently. In fact, I do still expect some more. This morning alone, we saw some restocks in Endurance DSG Monitor, which the early birds were able to cop a bunch of pairs. So they're certainly not done releasing pairs of these, and I do expect more restocks, but it's only a matter of time until they do settle down and stop. It's then when they do stop that we will slowly begin to see an increase in value. If you aren't familiar with how Jordan 1 mid or low releases work, unless it's a non-GR mid, they don't have a specific release date. Retailers can just feel free to drop and restock pairs whenever they get pairs and whenever they decide to drop them. This usually lasts a couple of months rather than a normal drop which is just set for one day and a couple of restocks after that. I really want you guys to note the massive sale volume on these that we're seeing. In addition to the massive amount of bids in general, there is evidently a significant amount of demand for these but of course there is an influx in stock and plenty of quick sellers since pairs are still continuing to drop. This will eventually begin to change when pairs do stop restocking though. Meanwhile, while the demand on the other hand won't change. And this certainly is understandable considering the massive demand for Jordan 1 mids in 2018 to 2021, not to mention this is an iconic classic colorway, the band Jordan 1 colorway. Let's take a look at how some other grade school Jordan 1 mids have performed in the past with favorable colorways that have already started off as profitable, such as these, even though it's only about lunch money. For example, let's take a look at the Jordan 1 mid grade school shadow. These started dropping around the end of September and bottomed out around the start of mid-November. Since then, restocks have been more scarce, although I have seen some foot sites just in the last couple of weeks even restocking them still. So these aren't even completely done yet, but they have already started increasing in value to about the 200 to 230 range. It's worth noting that these were more limited though. Moving on, checking out a grade school mid with high demand, but more stock on the other hand, we have the Jordan 1 mid Chicago toe. These restocked for a very long time and there were multiple times in spring 2020 that these were definitely easy cops manually. I'd say these are most similar to the band Jordan 1 situation since they have very high stock, similar to the band 1 grade school and a high demand colorway as well. In fact, there was so much stock initially that they bottomed out just weeks after the starting release. These bottomed out at around $10 over retail, so you were able to make a little bit of lunch money or so without fees, nothing too notable. Since then, they have already done more than double in value though. We had a similar situation with the Jordan 1 Mid Chicago Heel Grade School. These bottomed out pretty quick, just like the Chicago Toe and Band Mid did. Now they have done more than double as well. Looking at one of the best case scenarios, on the other hand, the Smoke Gray Mids bottomed out at around 130 and increased to now $350, which I've decided to start letting my pairs go for because I'm more than happy with that amount. I'm not expecting that kind of rapid rise for these band mids, unfortunately, although all the better if they do better, of course, but rather I expect these to eventually get to around the $180 range in eight or more months from now and potentially even
even more than that, hopefully more, essentially leading to these doubling in value. From there, I do expect them to keep increasing in value, but likely not to be the same rate, so it may be best to sell and move your funds into other thresholds to start around the range of the band ones, because of course, there will be plenty of other opportunities. In terms of the margin, as I discussed, it's certainly worth your time. I could see a great margin deriving from these primarily because of how low they are going for right now. This definitely leaves plenty of room for them to increase into a fruitful amount. Not to mention, there's little to no risk at all. Worst possible case scenario is they don't increase by a notable amount. A potential $100 increase may not seem like a lot, but you must also consider that this product is currently only worth about $100 itself. This allows you to purchase multiple pairs of these at around the same budget you would with a more hyped product. That's why you must think of holds proportionally. It's something I stress in all of my holder sell videos. While yes, a limited sneaker may go up more than this, perhaps even $150 for example, if it's already going for $600, well, that's not exactly the best margin proportionally, is it? Wouldn't you rather purchase five of the pairs that are going to be going up $100 perhaps each in 8 to 12 months or so, rather than purchasing just one $600 pair that will go up $50 more than that one single pair alone? Now, obviously, there's no guarantees when it comes to this, and this video is not financial advice. I'm simply explaining what I'm personally doing with all of my band grade school pairs and why I feel they are one of the best holds of 2021 at this current price, based off of everything I've mentioned and showed you guys today. That said, there are numerous other opportunities very similar to this, so if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and comment if so, so I know to keep a series going for you guys when it comes to these types of holds. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Subscribe and enable post notifications. Stay 100% updated on every profitable sneaker, and remember the limited endurance restock will be Friday, January 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time or 10 p.m. CET for Europe. Tweeted from Keith Adam 10. Of course, follow my Twitter, Keith Adam 10, and personals for you, just so you're always 100% updated on everything. With that, though, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day, and Happy New Year's, of course.